Hello and welcome to the second episode of Holy Crap! In this episode we're gonna create a new REST web server and we're gonna deploy it to Heroku. So let's get started. We're gonna create a new project called Holy because this is the Holy Crap channel. And we're gonna open it in VS Code. Alright, we have here the hello world. So we need to install Axum, that's gonna be our web framework of choice and this framework is made by the Tokyo team and it's pretty cool so we're gonna add it to our cargo file and we're also gonna need Tokyo as a dependency so we're gonna go ahead and copy paste the version of it here and to get things running we're gonna cop copy the hello world from the Axon official docs okay so here we have a one route that just returns hello world and we are running the server on port 3000 cool that's a good start but uh, in order to deploy this to Heroku we need to be more flexible about the port that our server is gonna run okay so here's the way so we are checking if the AVVAR port exists and if it exists we are parsing it to an integer and if not we have the 3000 as default that means that we can still run this on localhost and then we have a socket address here that we're using to bind it to to localhost and the port that we just created cool now that we have our server we need to create a docker file we have two parts of it so it's it's leveraging the mode stage docker build so in the first part of our docker file we are using the rest official docker image and we are copying first we create a new project and we copy only the cargo files and run the build that's uh, a shenanigan to install the dependencies and also cache them so next time this image is built and no changes on the dependencies this is gonna get a warm cache and go faster and after that's done we cop our source code and build it again so it's gonna generate all the release files but actually what we need is the binary so in the second portion of our docker file we are using a much smaller docker image as base the Debian busters lane and we are copying only the only the binary okay so if we didn't do this we would end up with about 2 gigabytes of image and by doing this trick we have a 70 megabytes image and that's much better so now we have our github workflow here so basically every time we push to github it's gonna build a new docker image and it's gonna push it to push it to the heroku registry and it's gonna release it to production and in order to do that there are two secrets here that we need one is the Heroku app and second one is the Heroku API key so assuming that you have installed the Heroku command line what we can do is create a new app so let's start by doing apps create and now we have a new app so this will be the name of our app and the second thing we need to do is to run Heroku authorizations create and then we're gonna have the token that we need to use okay now we have both of this we can go ahead to github and we're gonna add the variables so first one it's gonna be the heroku app and we're gonna get where is it where is it here this is the name of our just created app and we also gonna need heroku api key Cool. So with this, we can trigger a new build. Okay, now that the build has finished it and uh, it worked, it's green. So let's see if it's really deployed to production. So let's get the address of our application open here. And yay, it's there. Holy crap. So it works. And that's how you deploy a Docker image from a Rust web server to Heroku, very easy. And by the way, 
it's free it, there is a free tier and it's very good to get started uh, on production with Rust by doing this so I hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for more episodes like this on a weekly basis holy crap